What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trends. Peeps! In this video, what I'm going to be doing is going through a Shadow Projects SS20 collection video. Now that's Stone Island and Acronym who both could make the Shadow Projects collection. I haven't really covered much Shadow Projects. I've probably had some Shadow Projects in the past, but I know a lot of you love Shadow Projects. So what I want to do is do some quick reviews for you guys, okay? All you guys need to do is go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to more videos. Make sure you go ahead and like this video as well if you find it really informative, okay? So listen, without further ado, Let's get straight into it. Two seconds. Right, so before I crack into the video, one of the things that I want to talk about is Instagram accounts and Instagram sellers, okay? Lots of people messaging me um, all the time, and we get it all the time on our Facebook group, especially during these times. If you feel like being part of an active and engaged community with good vibes, then go ahead and join the Facebook group. I'll put all the details in the links and the description box below, okay? I know a lot of people have been scammed on Instagram, on Instagram selling pages. So I just want to tell you guys to be very, very careful on Instagram selling pages, especially Especially when you're looking at buying brands like Fendi, Givenchy, D Squared and Gucci as, as well as Stone Island and all the rest of them, Palm Angels, Off-White there is actually a massive influx of fakes going around at the moment. You've got factories apparently over in Turkey that are making one-on-one -on -one fakes. Some unofficial wholesalers are buying this stuff and they're distributing it out to the market in wholesale because they know a lot of people are setting up Instagram accounts now. It's like a big trend. Lots of people setting up Instagram pages and trying to sell online and all that type of stuff. It's just gone through the roof, the amount of people that are setting up these accounts. And what I think is happening is that people are not really experienced in buying they're not really experienced in selling they're just trying it and there's nothing wrong with that but the moment you start offering people a service you've got to make sure that you're double checking the stuff that you're selling it's ultra hard if not near impossible to get brands like Givenchy, Fendi, Gucci and all of these types of brands from distributors directly. There are people opening up Instagram accounts. A lot of them are sc scammers. Some of them have stock and the stock is fake. Just be careful because I get these messages all the time from lots of different followers that they've been scammed. And um, what I do want to do is tell you some of the Instagram accounts that I know you definitely can follow and who sell it legit stock. I want to go through my top list of Instagram sellers that I personally know and I want to share, with, share them with you and you guys can go ahead, check out their profiles and you can rest assured that these are real, proper, trusted sellers, okay? So listen, let's start off with this real quick before I crack into the video. So the first guys you can check out are Open Attire guys, okay? Open Attire started a long time ago. I used to, they used to message me a lot back in the day about wanting to start an online business selling clothes and that was like about four or five years ago, something like that. In the early days of me even doing YouTube, they kind of reached out when I was giving them some advice and help and I'm just so impressed with how they have now grown into a really, really successful business selling designer clothing. They've got an online store, they've got Instagram and they're doing some really cool stuff. So definitely Open Attire is one of those brands that you can go ahead and check out. Now Open Attire say they offer a fast and friendly one-to-one -one customer service with prices under retail and a wide range of the world's most hottest brands, okay? They were formed in 2016 and have accumulated a large following on social media and they're rated as the top 20 menswear store in the UK according to Trustpilot. So that's absolutely insane. So well done to Open Attire. If you guys are looking for some trusted sellers, then Open Attire is definitely one that you could add to your Instagram list, okay? So number two. So number two is, number two is Matt's Island. Matt's Island is a specialist in super rare vintage Stone Island CP company and a whole bunch of other brands as well. I and mean, he's been going for a very, very long time. He is actually well known within the scene, within the community that sell kind of Stone Island and stuff. And he's got a massive following online on Instagram and he's just actually started his YouTube channel. So I'll put a link in the description box below. You can check out his reviews. He does like Stone Island reviews and you can see all the crazy cool collections and different pieces that he gets in every week. So make sure you go ahead and check out the YouTube. He's got an Instagram account and he's got his website, so make sure you run and check them out. That is Matt's Island. I've met him before and he's a really top guy, okay? And much, much more guys, okay? So listen, the next Instagram seller we're gonna look at is KM Brands. Now, KM Brands has been going for a very, very long time. A lot of you might already know KM Brands. He's got an Instagram account and he's just working on his website as well. Now, his website is currently available now, but he'll be doing some more improvements and that will be getting released very soon. KM Brands does brands like Stone Island, he does Kenzo, CP Company, really, really cool bit. So make sure you go and check him out. Now, KM Brands specializes in brands that are well below retail, 
well and not only that but he includes free shipping in his orders as well okay so again if you manage to go and check out KM Brands just tell him that Hoxton recommended and he's going to look after you and make sure that you guys are all good okay last but not least and this is in no particular order of how good they are DSL clothing okay they have an Instagram and they also got an online store as well which is definitely worth checking out now DSL kind of specialize in more lower price items so there's lots of deals to be had on there they do brands like Asics, Puma, Timberland and a whole bunch of other brands as well so it's definitely worth you going ahead and checking out they've always doing really cool deals and they're also a really cool bunch of guys you can also go and find them they're also on our Facebook group so if you want to have a chat with the team over at DSL you can also find them on our Facebook group because they also are part of our community so you can always jump in and ask any questions and you can definitely check them out and see exactly what they're saying okay so listen without further ado that is my official instagram sellers list i'm not trying to be funny but there's not there's not many there's a lot a lot of fakes out there so be careful guys okay so listen let's get on with this uh stone island shadow projects um ss20 review okay right so this is going to be a long video because i've got quite a lot of um i've got quite a lot of shadow project stuff so let's see exactly what we got so we've got this Stone Island Shadow Projects top right here. That's with another Stone Island. Got another Stone Island Shadow Project with a kind of nylon material on the front. Some really nice shorts, man. So I know you guys like your shorts. So I'll be having a look at those real quick. We've also got another Stone Island Shadow Projects hoodie with a little bit of the nylon material on the front. Where's the badge on this one? This one doesn't even have a badge. Right, look at this piece here. It looks absolutely lovely, this color. Look at that, really nice color in this kind of teddy type uh, material. So that's really nice. Got um, another t-shirt here. I know you guys, you guys love your t-shirts. Obviously it being summer. Got this really cool bag, man. Woo Look at that. Yes. This was, this was expensive, you know. This is like 230 pound, man. Jeez, that's a lot. And we got another pair of Stone Island Shadow Projects shorts. Two seconds. Right, so this is the first item that I'm trying on. Um, jumper in this really nice type of felt finished teddy type material. So you can see the material is just a little bit, got a little bit of a kind of raised fabric, like a brush cotton. It's really, really nice. Now, the only thing that I'm noticing about this is got this, there seems to be a little bit of gap here. So it feels a bit loose. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling that, man. I just wish if it, if it could just be a little bit more, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's just a, a, my own gripe and I'm just being funny about it, but I just feel like it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit loose on the arm. So I'm not too sure about that. Although this looks like it's really kind of more of a winter top it's really really light it's not thick it's not super thick at all it's just like the right kind of thickness for i would say like um an evening when it's not too um not too warm and it's just kind of chilled down a little bit i like the material i like the look i feel like the look the fitting's a little bit loose and i don't know but the fit i'm not too sure of but yeah yeah it's not bad right let's move on to the next one Right, this is well nice. I really like this. This is definitely not going to be for the summertime, but it's really, really nice. I love it. It's just a little bit different. The only shame about this is there's no, there's no badge for people that do want the badge. And yes, I know it's Shadow Projects, but and sometimes Shadow Projects doesn't put badges on their um, clothing. But I just feel like for the price of this, it was quite expensive. That people will probably want something to show that it's it is going to be like a Shadow Projects piece. And I just feel like if they did have a black badge on there, that it will just really make it pop what the black and the and the green so it's a shame they didn't put it on there but it's actually really nice also got the shadow project shorts that i meant to go with this and this also doesn't have the badge which is a shame man i feel like this as well i feel like this as well would have been really nice feels a little bit of a shame to be honest with you for cats like me that don't really mind if there's a badge or not it's not too bad but then sometimes i just think well i can just get something similar um, which is not not as expensive. The quality feels really nice. You've got this kind of really cool material. I think this will go sick with the shorts. The only problem is this is I can already feel that this is way too hot. This is way too hot. You're not going to want to wear this in summertime. Even though it is light, but the material on the arms, I can really feel that keeping the heat in. So you do not want to be wearing this obviously in the summertime. Right, I've got this. I've got this shadow project. I've got another shadow projects jumper here, part of the SS20 collection. So I've noticed that shadow projects are not really putting a lot of their they're not looking, putting badges on a lot of pieces um, this season, so it seems like. Yeah, we'll try it on. We'll see what that's saying. 
Right. Um, again, it's really nice, but you know, it's quite plain. There's nothing overly exciting about it. We do have this nice nylon metal that goes all the way up on the side on the rib cage there, which is really nice. But again, it's missing the Shadow Projects badge. And I think some people will actually miss that and will actually want that, especially since Shadow Projects is usually more expensive than the normal Stone Island. Shadow Projects is actually a collaboration with a Berlin-based brand called Acronym and obviously um, Italian Stone Island. And they've kind of merged together. Apparently they, they love the collection or Stone Island love the collection so much that they said look let's make this a permanent collection and then since then you've just had um, shadow projects so it's quite a cool concept this little pouch as well this is shadow projects which is really nice this color is actually quite rare so you can't get them from many places but everything that you see here if you're interested I'm gonna put a link in the description box below so you guys will know where you can grab it from but yeah that's the little shadow projects bag there to be honest with you you probably can't put too much in there I think you can just about put your mobile phone in there it's even got a 30 logo on the inside but yeah it's just meant to be like a little kind of holder look you've got a bit of pen space in there as well What you've also got here is a little little kind of Velcro, so what you can do is you can put that if you've got a belt, um, tie that around your belt like that and have a little hoop hole, and then you can just have it on the side of your belt like there as well. This one I just feel like it's probably a little bit too, um, little bit too expensive, this one for me personally, but it's still a very nice piece. The jumper's very nice, it, it, it's a little bit plain, it's not overly exciting for me personally, but hey, that's just me, yeah. Let's look at some of the jumpers. Right, so this is the Stone Island um, long sleeve t-shirt. Now, I actually like it, but I just think when you start getting into this deep type of purple type color, I think this is not the type of pink that I like. It's a bit too rich. And um, for me, it just looks a little bit too feminine. I, I, I prefer when it is the pink that it's more of the lighter pink. And I think that one suits guys more. Although the fabric feels really nice, and I actually feel like when I've since I've put this on, it, it, it's weird, but it feels really kind of it's it's cooling me down a little bit. So I'm sure this is going to be 100% cotton. Yep, 100% cotton. So that's all good. Got some design. Got some design on the back. And yeah, I, I do like it. I think the colour for me is just a little bit too rich for me. And I think some people might just not be a fan of all these kind of random lines just going anywhere. If you didn't really know. You might not, um, you might not think that this was Stone Island, but yeah, it's still quite nice. Uh, but yeah, this is this is probably not the one for me. This one, but I'm I'm sure there'll be a lot of people out there that will like it. Right, so this one is the Stone Island blue T-shirt. Now I actually really like this. I, I I think I like the fit. The fit feels really nice. Feels really kind of snug on the body, which is really cool. In terms of design, it's not the most exciting top. Oh, actually, do you know what? I quite like this, but I just feel I don't know. I just feel it's all a little bit random, I guess. But you know, then again, it is acronym. If you know about acronym, there are a little bit different they, they almost remind me of a brand called 1017 alex 9sm it's this very kind of stealthy type of ninja type um some of their garments look very ninja type you know lots of kind of hoods and even the way they design their items it just looks a little bit different the shorts are one of my favorite things actually these are these are so so nice and i think yes you got a little shadow project sh um badge there which i think is really good so that's a nice touch they feel really good the material feels robust i love this nylon bit that comes across the top and the front there really nice shorts these are the only problem with this is the price mate the price of these shorts oof, very very high I, I i couldn't justify it man it's just way too high this hoodie right here this is like the matching hoodie that goes with it oh and i tell a lie it's not but it's close enough but i know what people are like they're gonna really want they're gonna really want to try and marry these two up but i can just see very very slightly that the materials are a little bit different so i feel that people will not really want to partner this up because i know people are so particular about stuff like this man whereas i would rock these two and feel no way i know there's cats out there that would be like nah it's got to be exactly the same hot man it's got to have exactly the same color Guys, that is literally it. That is all the items. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you enjoyed those little SS20 um, pieces that have come in from Stone Island Shadow Project. If you like any of this stuff, go ahead and see the description box below. I can show you some links on where you can go ahead and buy that. If you want to check out our website as well, we've got tons of new blogs, lots of really cool content up on there. So make sure you check out the website. It'd be really good if you check it out and see what it's all about because we're putting so much work into there. We've got bloggers and researchers doing all types of stuff. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again. Peace. Action.